During the hottest of the long summers at high school, one of the best ways to beat the heat was to score a spot somewhere in the air-conditioned library and wild the time away with a humorous novel, or more rarely, a graphic novel. New printed editions of Hergé's Tintin series were some of the most prized acquisitions, and soon I'll be able to relive the same experience as I beat the seasonal heat while enjoying Tintin in the cinemas. The release of Gameloft's tie-in game, which is, as the title suggests, based around the story of The Secret of the Unicorn, is a timely one, though European gamers have been lucky enough to enjoy both the game and the film for some time now. For those such as myself who had to wait, it was most certainly not in vain, as this is perhaps Gameloft at its best. Before you get too excited, this is also a relatively short game, but given the style of gameplay, this is almost a blessing, as it manages to not overstay its welcome while remaining fresh and innovative until the end. Nominally, the game is an action-adventure, set in a third-person perspective, though this regularly changes as control switches between characters and even vehicles. Just as soon as one style of presentation starts to feel dull, the game quickly shifts gears, be it with a quick-time event or a stealth puzzle section to keep you on your toes. This kind of clever pacing shows a high level of care and attention for the franchise it seeks to capture. Tintin regularly finds himself jumping into the fray, inquisitive mind at the ready, only to get into trouble and require the help of his faithful companion Snowy. All of this is carefully rendered in sharp detail, emulating the film's style while also being self-aware enough to add touches such as focal blurring to add depth to the screen. Adding to the experience are hidden collectibles such as coins and puzzle pieces, and while they give the player something else to do, especially during cutscenes, the unlocked 3D models are little more than simple trophies. More concerning is the lack of a confirmation for the skip button, as it's all too easy to try and stab a coin and find yourself missing out on a chunk of the story. For fans of the series, it's no huge loss, but a loss all the same. The Adventures of Tintin The Secret of the Unicorn is, if nothing else, an example of the minimum standards to be expected of a tie-in franchise. Not only does it bring the aesthetics of the film to life, it pursues fresh and interesting avenues for gameplay – who'd have honestly expected cut-the-rope style puzzles to crop up – without compromising the integrity of the story it seeks to convey. A great pickup for fans of the series, and those after a tight action-adventure title for the holidays. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.